that you? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Try and push next. Uh, two Let's go to Red 8 one continuing 1 2 thousand. Request to adjacent block. Red 8 one Roger, then you can set uh, 1 Alpha and 1 or 2, uh, two Alpha. 1 Alpha and 2 Alpha. Red 8 one can expect 1 Alpha, 2 Alpha. So he should have checked this. 600, just gonna maintain 4,000. Should have checked this in. Okay. 4,000, just like that. Okay. Mm. All right. You think you can fly and root for a minute? Yeah. Okay. You have the aircraft. I have the aircraft. I'm gonna turn off guard. Just drive me nuts. Okay. Okay. Red 8 1, turn right heading 270. Red 8 1, 270. Ah, uh, you're right, 270. Keep your power all the way up. Uh, do you remember what airspace he said? What was it, 1 Alpha? 1 Alpha, 2 Alpha. Okay, now you can pull the power back a little bit. We're gaining on it pretty good. Come to the left just a little bit. Ah, there, he's checking right, so you're okay. So this is about three, uh, we're just inside of 300 feet, probably 200 feet, because you can read the numbers on the bottom, which is still uh, pretty good. You said you could read the numbers on the bottom? Yeah, uh, if you read the so on the tail, you know, I can read the, the tail number. Yeah. Not the letters, but the numbers. That's uh, 300 feet. I okay. Can read the numbers. The letters are 500, you know, depending on your eyes a little bit, but... Yeah. Letters. So, so numbers 300, letters 500. Uh, yeah, letters are bigger, so you can see that at 500 feet. Numbers you can see at 300 feet. Okay. Typically. All right, so we got a little bit of vector into them right now. Okay. So check away. Try to one turn right heading 330, Gator 1 Alpha and 2 Alpha. Freedom change approved. 1 Alpha, 2 Alpha. Right. Try to one, 330, 1 Alpha, 2 Alpha. Snipe 600, turn left heading 090, just to maintain 1,500. 090, send to 1,500. Snipe 600. Just trying to figure out which way to go here. Where's this 10,000 feet? This is fun. You can tell I think the student was flying. <laughs> So we were cleared to 11, right? Is that what he said? Yeah. All right, uh, let's get our climb check. I think we missed it. Okay. You should have told us to do it too, but. Oh, looks good? Oh, looks good. Default switch. Off. Van control lever. Foot. And pressurization checks. Carbon altitude, 7,800. All right, so if you zoom out a little bit on that map display you put up, you'll be actually able to see something. It's kind of zoomed in pretty far right okay. now. Cool. Maybe go out one more. One more? Technique. You know, you can... 
So now you can kind of see the air spaces. Yeah, those top two. Yep, those top right. two on the left. Yep. Let's go with the departure, Jedi 04. All right. 900 for 3,000. So here's yeah, about zero four feet of space. So you want to rejoin, so you can go back in. Okay. Jedi 04, climb 10,000, direct trader. Have a good day. Uh, Jedi 04, remain this frequency. Will be Jedi 04. All right. I'm looking for my 30 degree line that we talked about earlier. Yep. Just right about there. You can okay. see the exhaust stack uh, just after that pitot tube partly from your seat. Uh, yeah, the pitot tube's pretty much on the spinner cap back of it. Okay. And so then I slide in a lot closer, and I'll show you the proper spacing. I was a little wide on climb out. It was a little bouncy. Okay. All right, which is right about there. Okay. And so the exhaust stack, you want to see it slightly below? Or... Oh. He's having a... Uh, uh, dread... Dread 1, 2, can you hear me? Dread 8, 1, if you're still up, enter your uh, mower blocks at 2 Alpha. Dread lead, 2. Are you on a... You're not a... We're on a... Oh, that was a Victor Freak. Try again. Dread lead, two. Uh, I got you a lot of clear now. Okay. All right, is it you or me? Uh, I was just talking to... Approach. Yeah, I could hear. Uh, I could hear him talking to you. I couldn't hear you transmitting. Five miles for five. Interesting. Okay, we're getting near space. So uh, let's go push six. I'll get a radio check with him. Runway one approach. Say again. Go ahead and uh, push six. I'll get a radio transmission to. Uh... Okay, I'm up channel six. Dread 8 1 check. 2. I got the radios. That's cool approach. Yeah. Dread 8 1 radio check. Dread 8 1, I have you loud and clear now. Dread 8 1, loud and clear, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. Dread 8 1, check off. Dread 8 1, check. Dread 8 1, I have you loud and clear. 2. Okay. Dread, push channel 16. Okay, push 16. Got it. You see how there it is, or I got him back? Dread, 10-10. Let's say two. Two. Three. All right, so fence in. We already got our comm. We're on channel 16. Yep. What else we want to do? So fuel, emitters, uh, houses in standby. GPS, we're set. Comm, we pushed in. GC test, loose item stowed. That's good. My GC checks, my loose items are stowed. And you have the radios. I have the radios, correct, thank you. Dread, ops check. Just say two. Okay, two. 
damage, so. Alright, so what do we got? We got, uh, 950 pounds. Oh. And I got Obox oh, good, everything else looks good. Hydrox, electric fuel, engine, pressurization, all checks. Obox oh, good. Dread 1, 950 pounds. So, Dread 2, same. Dread 2, same. Alright. Thread 8 1, check. Okay. That's uniform. 2. So rejoin. Alright, so we're all fenced in. He'll be looking for the pitch out. That's probably what he's going to give us. All right. Assuming he's, we're not having any more radio problems. Yeah. Okay, pitch, pitch out. out. G's coming on. Four G's feeling good. Four G's feeling good. You can't see, but I'm smiling under my mask. Yeah, the fun's just starting. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is. So I'm in his wake. So that's a. Turning rejoin to the left? If he turns, yep, it's a turning rejoin. If he didn't turn, it would have been a straight ahead. Okay. And we would have rejoined to the left. So I'm going to show you a good rejoin. I'm going to get out here on this uh, uh, four aspect. Okay. So we're looking for the S and A in the saddle. Yeah, so you see that tail on his wing? Yep. I got a little bit of closure here. This is going to be an overshoot, actually. Okay. He just slowed down. get our speed under control, we'll come back. I could have popped the speed brake too, but I figured I'll just do an overshoot. Okay. So let me show you that line again. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I think he was still slowing. But we can brief, debrief that, what happened on that one. So now I'll start to drop down and get my line, because I'm well inside of that 300 feet we talked about. Okay. And now I'm sliding up in, I'm just a little bit after the line, I'm using your rear seat references. There we go. And I'll slide in. Now we will probably go into wing work, which I am going to be super rusty on, so no judging. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to be seeing, so. Right now you're just kind of watching, <laughs> keeping track of my airspeed and my altitude and energy state. Okay. So right now I'm a little aft in the line. So. Just going to fix that. 13,800, 150 knots, low energy. Okay. So for this, yeah, 120 knots is minimum. 90 degrees bank. This is what we're allowed to go up to. Eleven thousand nine hundred. Two hundred twenty knots. Uh, high energy. So my line's good, but a little wide. Okay. The wider I get, the harder this actually is. Okay. Fix that. Fourteen thousand three hundred. 140 knots, and that's low energy. My position. So cross under. Yep. So I'll make sure I have t nose tail separation. Okay. Slide over here. Power's all the way up. Should be out of his wake if I do this right. Slide back up. I'll see if I do better on the right side than I did the left.
14,600, 140, low energy. Now well, better than the other side. Let's be getting warmed up. Twelve thousand eight hundred, two hundred twenty knots, low energy. Right there. Fourteen thousand six hundred, one hundred and forty knots, high energy. Try to go close trail. Yep. Okay, so for close trail, what we're looking for is I got those wingtips basically in between my AOA gauge and my compass. Okay. And the uh, exhaust stacks, that, that gives you for, like how close you are. And then your exhaust stacks stay in the wings. Try to in. This is kind of what air refueling looks like. Of course, okay. really with air refueling, you don't go to 90 degrees of bank. And then the same thing, you know, I'm looking for, from you, I'm looking for air speeds, energy states, altitudes. Okay. So this still is, counts as wing work? Or? Yeah, I mean, this is close trail, not wing work. Okay. But, but the same rules apply. Okay. So 12,400, 220 knots, low energy. Fourteen thousand, hundred sixty, low energy. And so if I get too high, you'll see more of a gap in between the exhaust stacks. If I get too low, you won't see as much of the exhaust stacks. Okay. And then left and right, you know, you can just tell. Yeah. So you just center the exhaust stacks in the corners of the wings and the body, kind of? Yep, pretty much. Sweet. And if, if you have to cheat to one side to kind of get your closure back in, well, you can. Just get slightly inside of this turn circle, but the goal is to stay right here. Okay. 14,160 knots, low energy. What do you use to, to determine whether or not you're high, low, or good energy? So 15,200 is the neutral state. Yeah. So just because you're super low in the area doesn't mean you're low energy if you are also fast. Yeah. So, perfect. So let's see what he wants to do now. Cross under. Just went a little bit wide there. So that's an echelon turn. Yep. So I'm going to keep him on the horizon, push a little bit of power in. And that's what we're looking for right there. I should just see a little bit of that, of that uh, yellow Cephas door. You'll see a little bit more of it. Yeah, in I can... The back seat. You can see most of it. I can just see a little sliver of it. Okay. And as he rolls out, my goal is to be back in fingertip. So the actual physical flying of two is probably harder, but the responsibilities of one are probably more tasking? Yeah, that's okay. exactly correct. So, yeah, as two, you don't have to think as much. You basically got one guy telling you what to do all the time. Okay. Which is why the inexperienced guy starts out as the wingman. Yeah. Four 
14,190 knots. That's low energy. Yeah, but this is just a regular turn, so. Oh, okay. Good to know, but. I think we're about done with the wing work. Thread two, go back to plus wingman. Two. Okay, okay, so what do I do? So, on the inside, so tell them to roll out. And then transition to instruments. Dread two. Dread one, roll out. Dread two's lost wingman. Transition to instruments. Dread one's wings level, heading 360, 1, 4, Slight power reduction. Yep, so I did that, did the power reduction. We kept the bank we had, had him, had him roll out. We're holding this for 15 seconds, which is right about there. Okay. And now I'm Dread two's visual. Dread two, reform, right side. Okay. So I'm gonna pick a pull to his tail. A lot of heading crossing over right here, so we'll start to reverse back. I could go to the outside if I need to, but I don't need to. I'm gonna put that tail on the elevator. Okay. So I did one thing wrong in my practice lost wingman. Do you know what it was? Uh, you didn't say altitude? Exactly. When you were I, didn't, lost. I didn't say altitude. We'll see if they catch that for the debrief. Okay. 20 knots overtake. Okay. It's all set. And good aspect. Nice. 15 knots overtake. Good aspect. 10 knots overtake. Good aspect. Okay. So there's about my three. I'm going to start dropping down. Transition 45 degrees. Five knots. Yep. Sun. <laughs> so he's banking it up. Okay. 45. He just told me that. So. Yeah. That's exactly what he should do. He's going to deviate from the standard. And now I'll get, go ahead and get my line and move in. Good. Stand by blind exercise. Reference heading 270. If you would buck 270, please. Got it. 270. Dread, turn away. Dread, she's blind. Altitude. 13,800. Dread, one blind. 13,900. Dread one, dread two, descend thirteen thousand. Dread one's climbing fourteen thousand. Dread two, descending one three thousand. Dread two's blind one three thousand. Dread one's blind fourteen five. Covered in reference heading. Okay. So. I want to make sure we ensure deconfliction. We stay at 13,000. And, and they're up at 14. Yep, they're above us, but well over that direction. So, scan this. Try to do a systematic scan of the sky, see so if we can figure out where he is. And then we'll want to make sure we maintain our 13,000 as we do it. Okay. Dread 2, turn 45 left, Dread 1 will be turning 45 right. Two. Dread 1 up the line, 40,500, 270. Uh, dread 2 is blind, 13,000. Oops, turn over, turn. Dread 2, turn 45 left, Dread 1, 45 right. Two. Alright, so now, if we did this right, we should have a vector towards each other, but we've maintained separation. So. so look around. He's going from somewhere. Yep. Okay.
Is there certain speeds that should be flown during this portion of the blind ducks? Uh, I'd pretty much just keep that what you had, the 180. Okay. Let's direct it otherwise. So let's uh, keep looking. Where's yeah. Yet? I'm still not seeing him. It's, he's probably in the sun, which is making it harder for us. Dread 2 still blind, 13,000. Dread 1 blind, 14,500. How far up is a thousand feet? Like, are there any good references for? Oh, it depends how far away he is, right? Yeah. What angle you're looking at, so you know he's going to be above the horizon. Yeah. But you don't know. Good one is uh, about to cross the center line of the two airspace boundaries. Okay, so they're a little uh, farther. Dread two copies. That means you're behind me. I'm uh, going to make a left-hand turn. I'm approaching a border. Dread one, uh, still blind, fourteen thousand five hundred. We're in the middle of the airspace. Right-hand turn. So we're headed towards the middle, right? Yeah, so they'll be in front of us doing right-hand turns. I got them on my TAS, actually. Okay. Or actually on my iPad. Yeah. Uh, and he should be at our roughly 10 up to 11 o'clock. I think that initial turn when he told us to go 45, and then I think that messed us up a little bit. So keep scanning the horizon, or just above the horizon. Now I should be at our 12 o'clock. Dread 2, pause it. Uh, Dread 2 is approaching the, uh, the center of the airspace at 13,000. I got you on my uh, iPad, but I don't see you. Right, three o'clock high. Move it to four. See him? Dread one visual. Nope. Dread two still blind. Three o'clock. It's probably in the sun. Yeah, I think I got you in the sun, man. Uh, can you give me a vector? Yeah, come right heading uh, zero nine zero. High four o'clock, two miles. Why the hell can I see that guy? Hi. Visual. Clear your right turn, rejoin. Dread one descending, 14. Oh, there it is. Him being above us makes it harder because we're looking at a blue on blue, right? Bottom of the plane's blue. Sky's yeah. blue. Okay. Normally it's easier to look up, but today with the way the sun is, it was uh, a little challenging. 15 knots overtake, hello okay. aspect. I'm gonna. I was gonna mess this up, but okay. honestly we're running a little behind now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix it. Okay. Five knots overtake. Good aspect. Dread 2, break out. Dread 2, roll out. Dread 2, two straight ahead, rejoin. Right side. Straight ahead, rejoin is a little bit challenging because we didn't have a lot of spacing. Yeah. So I'm going to create some so I can show you this. Okay. All right. 
right, so straight ahead rejoin is really an airspeed rejoin. In fact, I lost more than I wanted, so I'm gonna get some back with a dive here. So he's doing 180. See if you can judge my closure rate. Yeah, so 20 knots over yeah, take. So I got about 20 knots over take, and that's about as much as I would want at this point. So now I can see. Thread, it. object. Tip. Okay, 15 knots over take. Yep, I'm gonna pop the speed brake. So you brake. wanna, yeah. Good call. Okay. Hydraulics, electric, fuel, engine. Grade one showing 800 pounds, 4 G. Got you, Sam. So now we should be moving on to uh, ET, right? Yeah. So there's my thing. Grade two, go ET level one. Yep. So I'll get my spacing fighter feet. Okay. Stretches in. So now I'm going to use angles. He should be setting about 85% for level one. So we're going to do the same. So now here you can see I'm slightly outside the turn signal, right? And I'm lagging slightly yeah, further lag. away. So if I come down here. Leading. Inside the turn circle, right? Yeah. Now, if I kept that, I'd, I'd get way in front of him. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to lag again slightly. Uh, kind of get right on his turn signal. It's pure. And, yep. So there's pure. Okay. So leading. Now I'm getting a little bit close. Okay. I'm going to push that 300 okay. foot bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and lag a lot. Lagging. So this is a huge lag. Now look how, how fast he pulls away from me if I do that. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll go back to so like a pure. pure. Leading. Trying to terminate, trying to terminate. Trying to terminate. Thread two, go ET level three. Two. All right, so he's gonna go away from me to give me some spacing to get this to work, so we can get. Try two in. All right, so now we get to have a little more fun with it. And we're going to use those same angles. <coughs> set max. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, so now I'm getting a little bit further away, so I'm going to pull lead out in front of him. And, and there, now we're kind of, we're on his turn signal, but we're over here. Yeah. All right, so we have the so same leading. kind of geometry. So I'm leading. Yep, he's going to go over the top. So now, now it's a little bit of a vertical. Actually, is that a barrel roll? That looks like a barrel roll. Let's see what he does. That was a barrel roll. Okay. okay. Uh, all right. So now I need an angle to get back in. So, so there leading. he's giving he's giving me one, right? So now yeah. I'm gonna pull lead. Now I got a lot of head and crossing going, so I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna fix that. <coughs> There we go. Yeah. So now I only fix my spacing still. I'm still a little wider than I want to be. Okay. So I'm still pulling some lead. I'm inside his turn circle. There we go. Now we're in a good position. So where's he going now? I try to avoid the six o'clock, but he kind of put me there. Yep, he's going that way. So lagging. So yep, lag. <laughs> Here. I need something to work with to get out of the 6 o'clock here. So this is 1,500 feet. This is as far as I want to be. Okay. He's going over the top, it looks like. So we're going to lag a little bit in the vertical. So I pulled a little bit after he did, but not much because I'm also trying to gain, trying to catch up to him a little. I'm going to beat him into the horizon if I can. Oops, too much. That was close. That was a cube and eight. 20. Come on. Dread terminate. Dread one terminate. Dread two terminate. Yeah, we are way aft. Yeah. 
So how far is this spacing right now? This is like, this is close to 2,000. I'm glad he called Terminate because I was about to. So we got stripped of the Cuban 8. <laughs> okay. He started it when we were already pretty far aft. Yeah. And then uh, I tried to make up for it in the, the pull for the loop, mm -hmm. but I couldn't quite do it. And so then when he came over the top, we just got stripped so much more. 31, 800 pounds, 5 Gs. Dread 2, same, 4 Gs. I have a tickle in my throat. I'm just going to mask off so I can cough really quick. All right. Much better. So right turning rejoin? Right turning rejoin, so we go to the inside of the turn. Sorry. We didn't get a call back from them either. Ten knots overtake. Five knots. Andrew, do you have any further requirements? Set task to normal? Nope, we're not going to do that because I told him not. Oh, that's right, because we have a standby. Or it's not working. Okay, we'll let him get back in, and then we're going to pitch out and do a rejoin. Cool. Turning rejoins, right? So, what do I want to do? So, we'll do a right turning rejoin. Okay. So, it'll just be on the wing walk to the right. Alright, so the acronym we've talked about is PON, which stands for what? Platform area wingman next. Alright, so how's my platform? So, 180, 30 degrees of bank, good. And we're turning into the airspace. So what do you want to do after we do this? So after this, I will do wing work. Okay. And we'll go towards the west because winds are coming from the west. So as lead, when they're um, coming in, am I just making sure they're good aspect pretty much and then... Yes, your job is to monitor them and make sure uh, they don't do anything dangerous. Okay. If so, you can direct them to break out. Okay, or overshoot as well. Or right? overshoot, yep. Cool. Okay, so I got them in the sun right now. Okay. I'm going to try to avoid putting him in the sun for the wing work. So I'll go ahead and uh, decide which way we're going to go for okay. the wing work. And that's typical of what the pilots would do. Uh, just because it gets... Uh, right? Okay. So I'm going to set my power. Drop some seams. There we go. Fifteen thousand two hundred, hundred and sixty knots, high energy or low energy. Okay. So I get a little more vertical this time. That was kind of a little baby leap to get them started. <laughs> baby. And to set them up so I'm not making them stare into the sun. Okay. Which is just a uh, common courtesy. Wingman consideration is what we call it. Okay. 15,800, 140 knots, low energy, okay. slightly increased power. So I want the nose come down. 
Uh, good call. I'm going to leave my power right where it's at, though. I'm kind of happy with it for right now. Okay. So I went ahead and gave him a uh, cross under. Yep. But I did it. And I'm going to go ahead and continue my wing work and see if he can hang out. Okay. He's a pro. He can handle it. Sixteen thousand, a hundred and thirty knots. Low energy. Yeah, I got down to a hundred twenty knots there. Fourteen thousand three hundred, two hundred twenty knots. And low energy. Sixteen thousand one hundred fifty neutral. Okay. So I'm gonna level off here, and then what? What do you think we gotta do next? Uh, I'm gonna put him in close trail. Go ahead, say dread two, go close trail. Okay. Dread two, go close trail. I'm going to be gentle on this till he calls me. Sure, okay. So now I'll go ahead and uh, continue my wing work profile, basically. Okay. And then we'll pull him back up into wing and we'll do echelon turn. Good call. Sixteen thousand hundred sixty. Okay. Okay, so that should be enough. Okay. I'll rock him back in. And then, uh, which way do you want to go for an echelon turn? Um, we have to turn away from him, so to the right. Okay. Yeah, and if for some reason you wanted to do it the other way, you just change it. Make him go to the other side. Yeah. All right, so you want to go right? Yep. Okay, I'll give him the signal. Gets his head nod. And I'm going to do a nice smooth roll into 60 degrees bank. There is no hard, fast roll as to what... Additional aircraft in the MOA. Well, apparently we have a frequency out. We need uh, vectors contacting on 120.65-2065. How is that? 126.5. Okay. Dread flight copies. Okay, one three copies. All right, so there's an echelon turn. What now? Uh, so we'll tell him to go practice lost windman. And we'll do uh, opposite. So let's see. We're on the inside, so we'll do a right turn eight. Oh, I could just do straight ahead. Too. Or straight ahead. Okay. okay. Go ahead, tell him. Okay. Two, two, go practice lost wingman. Two. Dread 2 is lost wingman, 14,700. Dread 1, wings level, heading 066. 14,700. 2. Okay. I should just snap the heading bug so I could read it. Dread right. 2 is visual. Dread okay. 2 left, left. rejoin, watching the border. <laughs> We're at 45 degrees back. Two. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm a little non-standard, 45 degrees. Yeah. Going out to 30, 180 knots. Two. Good aspect. So yeah, turning uh, practice levels going to work better there. I wanted to see uh, if they said anything about the border. Okay. So we're going to overshoot. And then we'll have them uh, break out and then we'll do a straight ahead rejoin. Okay. Now, if I have them break we'll, out, though, I'm we'll turn. We'll, to, we'll do a 180 first. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little fast. Yeah, border's coming up. Yeah, 190. Two. Okay. Mo border. Okay. So head north, and we'll give him a breakout, and then a straight ahead rejoin. Can I just call it a rollout too, right? No, you don't have to. You just, oh you know, yeah, for break yeah out? after the breakout, yes. Okay. If you tell him to break out, you have to tell him when to roll out. Okay. If he breaks himself out, he tells himself when to roll out. Okay. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. Try to break out. Try to roll out. Try to visual. Try to clear straight ahead rejoin. We doing on time here. Our truck time is 9:45. We got an hour. 45, yeah. Let's do an ops check. Ops check. So. Okay. Ops check. Two. Hydraulics, electrics, fuel, engine, pressurization, all checks. Obog's good. Obog's good. And I'm showing uh, 650 fuel. And I don't have to say G's, right? Yeah, we're about 700, so just say... 700, okay. Yeah, you can just say 700. Dread 1, 700. Two, same. Yeah, after any kind of tactical maneuvering and stuff, or then you definitely want to do G's. Okay. But... Okay, so blind X. So this is where you're saying, so we should face left, that way we can break out right. Right? To have a reference heading of 270. Sure, you want to start coming to the left? To yeah. To start this off? Okay. Yeah. So we'll use reference heading of uh, 270. So, so you're going to start off by doing what? I'll say uh, Judge Standby Blind X, reference heading 270. Perfect. You can go ahead and say that now. Okay. Drive stand by blind X, reference heading 270. Two. Drive turn away. Drive two is blind, 14,000. Drive one blind, 14,000. Drive one climbing, 14,500. Drive two descend, 13,500. Two. Dread 2 is blind, 13,500. Dread 1 blind, 14,500. Turn reference heading. 2. Stay so there low. Alright. So now we gotta find them. And now we're looking at white on white on the clouds. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. I mean, really, he's gonna find us, but we're gonna we're gonna work this out. And the other thing that you can do, we can do some wing rocks, right? Yeah. That, that helps get their eyes on us. Straight two blind, thirteen thousand four hundred, heading two seven zero. Okay. 
Red one line, 14,700. Check right, 45. We'll check left, 45. Uh, Hello. Check left, 45. I'm just uh, do you gonna do this for a little bit. Good to visual. That's what I okay. thought. Do you say altitude? Good to visual. Dread clear done. Okay. Left and rejoin. Two. So once he's visual. You don't say altitude. You can just clear him to rejoin. Yeah, I don't have to see him. He's got to see me. He just can't get close. Okay. Until I see him. So there he is. Go in the opposite direction. He's gonna make uh, it work though, because he's a pro. Where is he? Uh, he just passed our right wing. He's moving to six o'clock. Oh. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. So platform area wingman next. My bank goes a little high. My airspeed's good. Yeah. Dread one, special. Two. He was staying out there until I called that. Oh, okay. So I could have called that when I saw him going the other direction. Yeah. But, uh, if not, he'll stay out there and he'll query me if I don't don't let him know I see him. Okay. All right, what's next on the list? So ET level one. Okay. So will just be, uh, Dread 2, go ET level one. All right. Yeah, we'll do that here. Let's get rolled out uh, a little bit more towards the west. Give ourselves a little bit. Unless I want to swap him to the other side. Okay. Let's do that. Let's move him to the other side. We'll keep this turn coming. That'll give him a chance to do a cross under. All right, our energy state looks pretty good, right? We're 14.6 yeah. on 80, so maybe just a little bit low, but it's all right. We're starting off ET level 1. We can actually gain a little in that if we okay. need to. All right. We're going to roll out west and say uh, Dread 2, go ET level 1. Cool. Dread 2, go ET level 1. 2. So we'll, put, we'll check away. 6 degrees of bank. Dread 2 is in. And it's basically just uh, a turn. level 1. Yeah, it's really just a turn. Okay. Actually, I got a little bit more of a dive there than I wanted to, because I was messing with my power. And I'm just going to stay in this turn until he calls terminate. So you're gonna so go ahead and monitor him. Where's he at? Okay. Uh, six o'clock. Bleeding. He's pure. It's hard to see him. He's directly at R6. Okay. Oh, there he is. 7 o'clock. Pure. Now he's lagging. 6 o'clock. Okay. Dread terminate. Dread 1 terminate. Dread 2 terminate. DLO. Okay. So just roll out. Yeah, we'll roll out kind of west. I'm gonna get back. So our... <coughs> go ahead and say Dread, go ET level 3. Okay. <coughs> dread, go ET level 3. 2. Dread 2 is in. Alright, so this time we're going max. We're gonna get the nose up. We're gonna, we're gonna give him a bunch of angles to work with. But we're going to keep this uh, not too complicated for the first uh, turn. Get the nose down. Get the nose back. In six o'clock, here. Lagging. Six o'clock. Leading. To 2,500 to the floor. Barrel. You see him still? Nope. Oops. 
6 o'clock here. Okay. I'm not going to give him a... 3,500 to the floor. Where is he now? I lost him. Oh, gosh. You okay? Yep. 5 o'clock here. All right. Lagging. 6 o'clock. You ready for a loop? Yep. Okay, we're going to get the nose down. Make sure we give him plenty of speed. Okay. Twenty five hundred to the floor. So he's still in position. Looking good. Over the top. Here's looking good. Looking good. Leading. Probably got seven o'clock. He did well. He's right in position. <laughs> We're going to turn away from him a little bit. Do a little bit of a barrel roll here. Ah, no, we won't. We'll just give him a leaf this time. Get more back. I want to give him area awareness a little better. Now, where is he? See him? Uh, Do you see him? Trying to find him. Six o'clock. Here. All right. Well, I'm going to do a barrel roll then. All right. <clears throat> 2,500 to the floor. 2,000 in the floor. Dread terminate. Dread one terminate. Dread two terminate. And those state requirements. Yeah, can we get uh, one more set of ET? <laughs> Roger, and I'm 5G, 600. Roger, uh, 6G, 600. Do you hold present position? Let's do it. Dread, go ET, level 3. 2! You alright back there? Yeah, I just had to cough again. Okay. So I'm putting my mask back on. Lagging. Let's see what he does with this. Barrel. Six o'clock, pull and lead. Lag. Now pure. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Uh. Pure. Seven o'clock. Lagging. Five o'clock. Seven o'clock, pull and lead. Twenty five hundred to the floor. Pierre, seven o'clock. Still in position. Dread terminate. Dread one terminate. Two terminate. Deal up. Dread uh, ops check. Dread one is uh, 5G 600. Dread to 4.5 600. Alright. Dread two state requirements. Negative requirements. Cool. Alright, how are we doing on time? It's uh, 57. All right, we got 600 pounds. Let's uh, do that BD check. All right. Red uh, reform right side. Two. Yeah, this is counting for my workout for the day. It's kind of fun, huh? It's a good time. I just feel bad for people who get air sick. 
Okay. All right, so he's in position. I'm going to give him another cross center just for fun. Okay. <laughs> we'll do an echelon to the north. It'll give us lots of room for the BD check. Okay. Okay. Position. He does. Cause he, he's doing pretty good. How's he look right there? A little close? A little close. Yep. A little close. BD check. Check mark. Yep. So give him that hand signal. to come up on my right. Yep. He'll climb up again. And the second he gives me a thumbs up, I'm going to go ahead and tell him to take the lead. So. Go thumbs up. All right. He's got the lead. I'm going to finish the BD check. So I'm going to start by coming up here so I can see his opposite wing. Okay. Now come down below him. I'm basically doing a cross center, but I'm doing it nice and slow, deliberate. I'm looking for, you know, loose panels, mainly leaks is what you're going to see. Uh, anything unusual. I'll come over here to the right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come back up. Take a look at his opposite wing on the top. And then uh, I'll start pushing the power up, push forward. And he right, looks, thumbs up. He gives the lead back. Cool. Head nod. And now I'm going to make a turn to the left. And we're, we're done, right? Yep, so fence out. Dread, fence out. Two. Okay. So you went to fighting wing, doing that cool barrel roll looking thing, because it's fun. <laughs> and uh, we'll come to the left. So he's supposed to get ADIS, and what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to call Jedi Ops and let know 15 out code one. Yeah, we're actually code three for reading. Code three, okay. Yeah. I'll t okay. You got it in there? Yep. Ops is up. Yeah, Jedi Ops, uh, Dread 8 1. Dread 8 2 is going to be uh, code three. Code three for what, Dread 8 2? Yeah, I'm having problems with my RMU and my transponder appears in op. I'll copy A2. Alright, take us back to our interplane, please. Okay. So we'll wait for him. Yep. And then we, uh, there's, there's 12065, right? Was gonna be our frequency for coming back in. Yeah. But we'll be on, on uniform, right? Still? Yeah. No, well, I'll, I'll help with that. So yeah, don't change the uniform frequency yet. Okay. He should come back up on Victor because I didn't because I didn't tell him otherwise. Yeah. So let's see if I can see Jack Edwards. So we can just go VFR. Two has information echo. So go with echo? Yep. Two go with echo. Wind zero one zero thirteen. Gust twenty three. Temperature nine, dew point one, altimeter three zero four five. open. Didn't say. We can ask. Yeah, we'll, we'll ask. Alright, 
dread flight. Uh, let's go 12065. Uh, blue over 12065. Go. Two. Put blue in. I'll get the 12065. Okay. So it is 23600. Yep, shit. Okay. Sorry. That's me not paying attention. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Dread check uniform. Two. Hey, what was the ATIS identifier? Echo. Dread flight check. Dread, you up uh, 12065? 12265. Two, Abram. 12265. Dread flight, check, Victor. Are they on 12065, not 625? Uh, no, uh, I think it's a radio issue again. Let me, uh... Well, we should be on 12065, right? Not 62. Dread flight check, Victor. Cat 20, radar contact 3 northwest of Jack Edwards. You can expect two Charlie, climb maintain 12000. Actually, it'll be two Bravo, climb maintain 12000. All right, dread flight, let's check one more time 120.65. I've checked in two. It'll be two now. Bravo, is your, gonna be your block, Cat 20. And who else called? Six oh eight Tango Mike, we're two miles north of Jack Edwards. Have you heard me transmitting at all? Mike Claire, Oxford. Okay, six oh eight Tango Mike, Pensacola, I dent, and Pensacola to three zero four six four two six four four. Two six four four flash. He said it was Echo. Echo, yeah. Pensacola, Dread eight one flight. Dread eight one flight, Pensacola, go ahead. And what was the identifier again? Echo. Dread 8 1 flight, uh, with information echo, ma'am. Is course rules open? Course rules are still showing open, Dread 8 1. Dread 8 1 would like to cancel, proceed VFR, Jack Edwards, for course rules. Dread 8 1 IFR cancellation, receive, maintain VFR, uh, heading 1 uh, VFR at or above 10 5. VFR at or above uh, 10,500, and say again the heading. 180. Dread 8 1, uh, 10,500, 180. Cat 20, turn right, heading 320. Say altitude leaving. All right. And winds are coming from 090 at 13, gusting 23. So Cat 20, your gator 2, bravo for change of proof. Shift on to 7. Congo 42, connect to Exmo Center, 120.2. Jedi 04, Pensacola 5, press a heading to center, maintain 5,000, say request. Four expect vectors are never my one. November eight, Tango Mike, your radar contact four northwest of the Jack Edwards Airport. Maintain VFR and a climb to four thousand. Expect your IFR clear shortly. Pentacle altimeter again three zero four six. Say out to leaving. Zero four six climbing through three thousand seven hundred now. Eight Tango Mike. For eight Tango Mike, you said a uniform Oscar X-ray airport via direct. Maintain four thousand. Direct four thousand eight Tango Mike. Approach, three zero four five set twice. Dread eight one turn uh, left heading one two zero one able direct to Jack Edwards for the course rules for runway one to send VFR to five thousand. I got these. Dread eight one flights heading one two zero. Say again the altitude, ma'am. Uh, Standby, Dread eight one. I expect lower shortly. 
Okay. Jody one's 10,500 heading 120. About 100 left. I am 3045. That's color approach, speed off 200. Okay, course rules. Dread 8 1, descend VFR to 3500 for the course rules to runway 1. Dread 8 1, send to 3500 for the course rules. Number 8 Tango Mike, contact Mobile 118.5. 1185, 8 Tango Mike, good day. Alright, so after Jack Edwards, where do we go? So go uh, Jack Edwards to. Phenom 200, Pensacola, expect a visual approach to the Jack Edwards Airport, advise the weather, Pensacola, altimeter 3046. We have the weather 3046, we know 200. So Jack, yeah, 200 to center, maintain 2000. 200 down to 2000. Yeah, I think we go from Jack Edwards. Jedi 04, turn 10 degrees left. What was that? We go from Jack Edwards to Point Long, right? Are we on the way? Sherman has left? information echo current altimeter 3045. Okay, okay. So then we'll go to Point Long on a 100 heading. To go. Jedi zero four fighting zero nine zero and descend of pressure maintain one thousand five hundred. And rocket two five change my frequency channel eight. This will be a PAR to runway one. Verify full stop. And then at um, point long, uh, we'll depart on a three six zero heading. November two zero zero. There's traffic yeah, maneuvering one to two o'clock and four miles. East, northeast, bound out to Dincate's 1,300. Speed off 200, look. Dread route, right side. Two. All right, so we're supposed to be doing 250. I gave him a little bit to play with. Jedi 04, can you increase your speed at all? You're first. Dread 81, descend to maintain 2000. Dread 81, 2000. I got Dread, who else called? Rocket 25, you off on 8. November 200, the traffic's about 1 o'clock and 4 miles northeast bound, slow moving out to the indicates 1300 still. Yes, man, we had the same yesterday, yes. Rocket 25, you off on 8. Rocket 25, fly for the heading, maintain 10,000, Victor's PAR. Rocket 25, reduce me to 210 and then descend to maintain 4000. November 200, Jack Edwards, 12 o'clock, 1 1 miles, report it in sight when able. Yes, ma'am, we'll call 200. November 200, descend to maintain 1700. 1700, 200. Dread 81, Connect Tower. Ready, one, uh, switch to the tower. All right. Okay. Dread, go uh, channel four over silver. Two. Okay. Dread, change that for me. Yep. Got tower in and. November 200, that traffic's. Uh, 55's in the VHF. Dread, check, check ox. Dread, check ox. Two. Dread, 
Journey 1, check. 2. Sherman Tower, Journey 8, 1, flight 6 miles from point long. Field in sight. Journey 1, Sherman Tower, report the numbers, runway 1, you can proceed direct if you'd like. Journey 1, Wilco, uh, direct uh, for the numbers. Dread flight to rejoin on the left side. 2. Tower, K939, ready for VFR takeoff. Is it a right break off of one? one? Three five zero at That's one zero. Said, right? take off. Yeah. Okay. Take off runway one. Cat nine three nine. So two thousand till when? So four three DME and then we'll just send a thirteen hundred. So now down to thirteen. that low yet. I sh shouldn't be descending yet, right? Three miles, you said? Oh, uh, wait, sorry. We have five and a half on the VOR. That was the point long. I got two miles. Got a little bit under the 250 indicated I'm supposed to be flying, but uh, I'm okay with it. I'm dragging a wingman. Dread 8-1 at the numbers, right. right break approved. Down to 13. Dread 8-1, right break at the numbers. Cat 939, frequency change approved. Switching Cat 939. Okay, my 1300. We're coming up with the numbers. I'm going to salute him off. Eight ball one one five solo Sherman Tower, westbound transition along the coast approved out of below five hundred Sherman altimeter three zero four five landing runway one forty gear clear. One forty gear clear. Sherman Tower, Jedi 04, 2 miles. Yeah, three green, flaps take off. Stand by Turn gear. Three green, flaps take off. Jedi 04, Sherman Tower, report 3 mile final with gear for only 1. Jedi 04, we'll move. report 3 mile final with gear, runway 1. Jedi 1, check wheels down, runway 1, wind 0, 1, 0, 1, 4, clear to land. Jedi 1, gear down, clear to land, runway 1. Dash 2, gear. Dash 2, brother. Okay, hand out 3 green, flaps take off, clear to land, runway 1. Last calling Sherman Tower, say again, call from. We're going to take the uh, right side. 8063 Solo, Sherman Tower. Westbound transition along the coast approved at or below 300. Sherman altimeter 3045. Landing runway 1. Traffic ahead of you for 3 miles is a B06 transiting westbound. Zulu, maintain at or below 300. Right. Jetta 04, check wheels down, runway 1110 at 12, your number 2, clear to land. 7 knots, 5,000 feet. Jetta 04, we are geared out, number 2, clear to land, looking for uh, the first one. Jetta 1, right when able, ground one off. Roger, can I take the off duty? Dirty one, off duty's approved. Dirty one. Tower Jedi 04, we're about uh, two miles gear down. I don't see uh, number one for final. Jedi 04, you're not number one. Okay. Right, ISS is solo. Clear to land, right on one. ISS is solo. Okay, I'm switching to channel three. And.
Light pin is in on occasion locked. Pin's in. Occasion locked. Credit one off the active taxi park. Straight one, from ground, taxi on the Bravo Bravo 2. Dirty one flight, Bravo Bravo 2. Alright, not my strongest sortie, but...